Welcome to New Zealand. Welcome to、um, Aotearoa. I'm already at、um, Queenstown.、Um, today it's、um, July twenty third,、um, Saturday. So all arrivals into New Zealand will need to do、um, two、um, COVID nineteen、um, rapid antigen tests、um, by yourself. So you will give these、uh, packs、um, when you、um, exit the airport after you done the.、Um, Bio um security. So the um airport staff will give you a pack of these um test pack. So you will need to do um two COVID nineteen tests as instructions here. Now my hi there, my welcome to Alta Aurora. So for me, I'll need to do um two t- RET one on today um day one July twenty third um Saturday. Then um day um five. Or six, which is July twenty seventh or um twenty eighth. That it's um Wednesday um or Thursday, whichever I guess um come first. And here it's um basically um the um re um not restrictions. I mean um instructions for you to do the test. And also, you know those um. Guidelines um as well, so some people might ask, what happened um if my stay in New Zealand is less than like、um, five days? Then fortunately, you do not need to do the、um, second um rat test, but it, it 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 depends on your you know from New Zealand you go to elsewhere. It depends on that country or maybe even you、um, transit. You might need to do um COVID nineteen test as well. But basically um for me as I'm staying. In New Zealand for nine days until July um thirty first Sunday, that's why I will need to do um two um South Rat upon arrival into um Outer Aura. So first one again, it's day zero or one, which is basically up to day July twenty third um Saturday. Then the second one, it's um day five or six, which is July twenty seventh or twenty eighth, Wednesday up or Thursday. You, I don't know when you should do like the first one, but. I probably won't do it now because I'm gonna head outside, visit、uh, some of the attractions, and again,、um, I guess,、um, I mean, I guess after dinner, then I will do the first、um, rat test、uh, by myself later. So、um, since my pre-booked、um, activity it's、um, not yet, so I'll probably do my first.、Um, Self、um, rat test here first. So here are the like actual、um, instructions. So basically, you get、um, one test device、um, like these, and then、um, one of the、um, erection tubes, and then、uh, one、um, butter cup,、um, one of the、um, swab. And also、um, one of the bag, I guess, for you to dispose after you finish、um, the test. And here are other like enquiries, that kind of stuff. So I'll probably do my first rat test now.
So here's the result of my first um, rat test on arrival to um, New Zealand. As you can see, the um, control line C it's uh, visible, whereas the um, test line the T it's not visible. That means I tested um, negative to um, COVID-19. So apparently you have to, um, even though uh, your test result is negative, so basic, basically um, regardless of your um, rat test result, you have to uh, report um, online. So basically the New Zealand government will um, send you an email and then you'll click in the link and then to uh, basically report your result today. I mean, whatever your results are. So as you can see, it's um, visible C, invisible T. That means I tested negative to COVID-19. Correct. And also, confirm my negative result. Thank you. Kia ora from Te Wanganui Ataura, which is the Maori name of um, Wellington. Today it's um, July 27th, um, Wednesday, my fifth day of arrival in Aotearoa, New Zealand. So I'll need to do my second um, self wrap. So I mentioned um, earlier um, when you arrive internationally to New Zealand, you'll need to do um, two um, self wrap. The first wrap, I already done it and it's negative, it's on day zero or one. And the second time, which I'm going to do now, it's on um, day five or six of your trip. If if your stay in New Zealand, it's at least like um, five days. So for my case, day five or six would have been today, July 27th, um, Wednesday, or tomorrow, July 28th, um, Thursday, whichever I guess like comes first. But I guess day five, I'm going to do my um, second rat test now. A bit awkward in somewhere in a public toilet in um, Wellington um, a Botanic Garden. So I'm going to do my um, second um, self um, rat test now. A few moments later, well, I mean 15 minutes later, the rap result is negative, as you can see, because there is only one straight um, red line of T, which indicates um, it's a negative. If it's a, it is a positive, it would have been a red T, red line of T on I mean red line of T if that if that's positive but I'm negative because that's um, I got only one um, C so thankfully um, on my um, two um, rat tests on arrival in New Zealand day zero or one and also day five or six it's all negative that means yeah not really nothing I mean I mean you still need to uh, report 
technically the uh, result to the um, New Zealand government um, website. Not website, I mean they will email you a link for you to, uh, you know, steps to how to um, up upload or, you know, indicate um, your result regardless of a positive or negative. But, you know, I am, uh, I mean, I tested negative on two occasions, on two days on arrival into uh, Aotearoa, New Zealand. So I don't really need to um, care um, that much. So that's basically um, the end of uh, my um, 13th and also 14th um, COVID-19 test in the midst of COVID-19. So to be simple, on arrival into Aotearoa, New Zealand, when you're flying internationally or by sea, basically um, before you leave the airport or whatever, there should be a biosecurity or, or some sort of a um, officer, he or she will give you a um, COVID-19 uh, wrapped a pack. So in um, Queenstown, because I arrived in Queenstown first, so in Queenstown, they gave like a pack of something um, like this. It came with um, four packs, so I did um, two tests as required, so so there are two like packs of remain. Maybe it will be good for you, you know, for your self purposes, or you don't know when you're actually um, needed. But for now, I don't need to um, use it. And then once you get um, the, your um, test pack, you'll need to do, again, two tests as per instructions one on day zero or one, and the second one on day five or six, you will need to report a result regardless of positive or negative by following the instructions on the email, then you will, you'll be issued a link for you to click on it and then you just, it's like multiple choice questions. Oh, is there a C line? So if yes, that means you should be, uh, like test is valid, and is there a T? So if there is a T, no matter how mild it is, that means you are positive, but I don't have, I don't have T line over there. So that means I've tested negative to um, COVID-19 and then you just need to confirm your um, test results are correct because interestingly, you don't need to upload like a screenshot of your um, COVID-19, uh, your rat test result. You just need to, you know, in, I guess, your civil responsibility or, you know, more importantly, your honesty to report the result of your two uh, respective rat. But thankfully, and as you guys have seen, I've tested negative twice on arrival to Aotearoa, New Zealand. Hopefully, this video will be helpful for anyone like Kiwi or so who are traveling to New Zealand anytime soon internationally. Much appreciation would be uh, by liking um, this video and subscribe to this channel and follow my Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter so that um, you guys uh, won't miss out how I spend in um, here um, Te Wanganui Aotara in um, Wellington and also um, later when I um, continue my journey here in Aotearoa, New Zealand and I'll see you in the next video. Hi Rai Ra, yes. Hi Rai Ra.